You know, I've always been intrigued by the idea of owning a vintage piece of audio gear. There's something about the craftsmanship and sound quality that draws me in, but I must admit, I've been a bit hesitant. The thought of dealing with, you know, maintenance and the potential difficulty of finding replacement parts or compatible components had held me back. After all, it's much easier to fill out a warranty form than scour the internet for just unobtainium parts. Choosing between a vintage and modern hi-fi setup is really a matter of personal preference and priorities. It's undeniable that many of us develop emotional connections to certain time periods, music, or experiences. Vintage hi-fi equipment has the power to evoke a sense of nostalgia, reminding us of those special memories and filling us with positive emotions. So I've decided to take a different approach, and I'm excited to share it with you. I've created a hybrid audio system that blends the best of both worlds, vintage and modern. By combining the strengths of vintage gear with the latest technology, I've managed to eliminate the weaknesses that can come from using either type of equipment exclusively. In this video, I'll take you on a journey through my thought process and explain how I crafted the perfect balance between the past and present. Together, we'll explore how this unique setup harnesses the power of nostalgia while still benefiting from modern advancements. So put on a pot of coffee, sit back, and let's dive into the world of hybrid hi-fi systems. When I was just a young kid, you know, around seven or eight years old, I have this vivid memory of sitting on the floor in my brother's room, absolutely mesmerized by what seemed like an, just an endless collection of CDs. I had saved up enough money from birthdays and holidays to buy the latest Type 2 Chrome cassette tapes, and I couldn't wait to dive in. I spent hours listening to each CD, discovering new music that would ultimately shape my listening preferences for years to come. I carefully recorded my favorite tracks on those cassette tapes, creating timeless mixes filled with songs that though new to me at the time, were destined to become legendary. This experience is something I'll always cherish and hold close to my heart. But looking back, I realized there was another aspect to that experience that I didn't fully appreciate at the time. My brother had taught a young eight-year-old boy how to use hi-fi components that even some adults find intimidating. He had invested a considerable amount of time and money in sourcing the perfect system for himself, and I had no idea what a privilege it was to be trusted with that. Now, as an adult, I can't help but think he must have been a bit mad to let an eight-year-old tinker with thousands of dollars worth of gear and physical media, but I didn't break anything or scratch a single CD because he taught me to respect hi-fi gear as something more than just a toy. He was absolutely right. For me, his system was a gateway to countless hours of enjoyment I would later experience with my Sony Walkman, and it's a memory I'll treasure forever. That experience was just one of many that shaped my desire to pursue audio as a career. I knew I had to be a part of it somehow. I just didn't know how? I remember back in the late 2000s, I managed to put together an incredible vintage audio system that boasted a level of dynamic range that modern equipment could only dream of achieving. It was this desire to recapture the essence of what I had been listening to throughout my entire life that led me to create a hybrid system, one that could harness the full frequency range of classic vintage speakers, the sheer power of a vintage amplifier, and the cutting edge capabilities of a high quality source and DAC from today. Through a process of trial and error, and with the good fortune of being able to experience a multitude of products from some of the world's most renowned hi-fi companies, I finally crafted a system that not only fit my budget, but also captured that unique sense of nostalgia that comes from listening to a setup that represents so much more than just the sum of its parts. This hybrid system became a bridge between the past and the present, delivering an unparalleled listening experience that truly resonated with my heart and soul. Let me walk you through how I put together my hybrid system, starting with the most crucial component, the speakers. After some searching, I stumbled upon a pair of Infinity Reference Kappa 8 floor standing speakers on Facebook Marketplace and managed to strike a deal. They were in fantastic condition, and while I couldn't quite stretch my budget to the IRS betas, <laughs> I don't know who can, but these speakers were a perfect fit for me. I was on the hunt for a set of full range speakers that could deliver heart thumping bass, crystal clear clarity, and a spacious soundstage and a smooth mid range without needing a subwoofer. And I found all that in these Kappa 8s. However, I faced one challenge. 
I needed an amplifier capable of properly powering these speakers, especially since the 10 inch woofers could dip below two ohms. I needed an amp that could handle such a demanding load while also delivering the power these hungry speakers craved. Thankfully, I found the perfect solution through our sponsors today. Just Audio. I'm excited to introduce you to Just Audio, a one-of-a-kind hi-fi shop located in Middle River, Maryland. Just Audio is a haven for music enthusiasts offering an extensive range of new and vintage audio gear. Whether you're looking for the latest cutting-edge components or seeking the warmth and nostalgia of vintage equipment, Just Audio has you covered. And for those of you who love discovering the stories behind classic audio gear, be sure to check out Just Audio's engaging YouTube channel. Follow Crazy Lenny as he delves into the history and charm of their vintage finds, sharing his knowledge and passion with the community. But don't just take my word for it. Just Audio's customers rave about their exceptional service, knowledgeable staff, and the incredible variety of products available. Looking to upgrade your audio experience from the comfort of your own home? Just Audio's user-friendly online store makes it easy to find exactly what you need Plus, they offer direct shipping, ensuring your new equipment arrives safely and quickly. Don't miss out on the opportunity to elevate your listening experience and discover the world of premium sound that awaits you. I was absolutely set on getting the GFA 5552. After scouring over numerous forums and reviews from the past, I discovered that this amp was often paired with the Infinity Kappa series like mine due to its ability to provide the power necessary to make the speakers truly come alive. The fact that legendary Nelson Pass designed this amp added to my excitement and reassurance that I was investing in a top quality machine. My next challenge was finding an excellent preamp with enough inputs and a decent phono stage just in case I ever got, you know, the wild hair to play a record. As luck would have it, I stumbled upon the Adcom GFP565 preamp at my local record shop, Twist and Shout, and managed to strike a deal there as well. This was perfect because the preamp was a perfect match both aesthetically and sonically for the Adcom 555 amplifier. Finding new preamps is not as easy as you might think, you know. In the new market, there are few and far between. Either they are super expensive or super cheap, with just a few that live in the middle ground price-wise. So I had the speakers of my dreams, a proper amplifier, an awesome preamp, and the next step was the DAC and the source. So I chose the Denifrips Pontus II for the DAC, which has all the features you could possibly imagine and financially matches well with the rest of the system. As for sources, I went with New with a CD transport from Premiere and Rune in the core hardwire to my living room. Building this hybrid system gave me the look, feel, and sound that evokes a sense of nostalgia connecting me with memories of simpler times and the music that shaped my life. It brings me back to the days when I would sit for hours making those precious mixtapes. I still remember writing Mike's Mix Number 1, Mike's Mix Number 2, Mike's Mix Number 3 on the tapes until they would just get the break or get lost. I think I've had quite a few Mike Mixes Number 1s in my lifetime. I might even make another one just for good measure, but it'll be in CD form, of course. There's a lot of psychology behind nostalgia and how it actually helps us in real time. Nostalgia provides a form of just escapism, allowing us to temporarily retreat from the stress and challenges of everyday life, engaging with a sound system that reminds you of the past and the associated music can provide a just mental and emotional escape to a comforting and enjoyable time in our lives. Creating the system was a labor of love, and the result is a blend of vintage and modern components that deliver an authentic and just less processed listening experience. This approach allowed me to find that, you know, full range classic sound from the 80s and 90s that doesn't need a subwoofer, and these components will probably outlast me in the long run because they're built to last. The one thing to keep in mind though is that sourcing components and maintaining older gear can be challenging and potentially expensive if you don't know how to do it yourself. But for me, the risk is worth the reward. I hope my story reaches engineers today and inspires them to look to the past to create the sound and performance from a time period where I feel it was almost impossible to best. Embracing the past can help us find that perfect balance between nostalgia and innovation. Before we wrap up, I wanted to let you know that I'm starting a Patreon again and would love your support. And I released a few new t-shirt designs in my online shop. I ordered some myself, I'm just waiting on them. The details are in the description below. I will do my best to make Patreon a fun endeavor and provide you with the value you all definitely deserve. If this video resonated with you and you got something from it, I would love for you to cross the streams on the like button. <laughs> 
subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to get notified when I put out a new video. With all that said and done, I will see you on the next one.